Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Reaper Scythe and if it's still any good after all the nerfs and buffs it's had. So I'm going to be showcasing it today and talk about a few other things. I hope you enjoy the video. Alright, so to begin I'm going to be talking about the uh, item itself. Uh, 300 damage, 10 speed for some reason. That seems comical considering what it is. But uh, the main the main part of this item is the desecration item ability. So within three seconds of killing any enemy, you can create a zombie basically that has 30% of your stats and you can have up to five zombies. And that can be doubled with the, uh, the mask, but it's not really worth it to use the mask when you can have a buff with superior. So here's an example. And it creates this mob and if I hit this, oh I one tapped that. If I get that, and if I hold the Reaper Falcon, let's see how much damage it does. 33k damage. So, it's alright. It's one third of my stats. Like, if I killed it, my, if I kill one myself, it will be over 100k, I think. Maybe not. Yeah, 113k. Yeah, I, I do 113k, and it does 36k itself, so... That's alright, it used to be 100% uh, of the stats when it first came out, when Tabor got the item itself. This is Tabor's Reaper Scythe, by the way. Yeah, so it's not very good damage itself, like 24k damage without enchants or anything. But it's not really a melee weapon, it's much more for creating the zombies. So I'm going to do a boss now and I'm going to showcase how quick you can kill it. Alright, so we're getting close to spawning the boss, so I'm going to get a few more kills, and then I'm going to start spawning my zombies. I need to spawn five of them. And thank god the, the Reaper Scythe, uh, the Reaper Falcon gives a lot of mana, so that, because this costs 150 mana every time I spawn a zombie. There we go. Alright. Okay, the boss spawned. I'm not even going to place over flux, I feel it will kind of be useless. But as you can see here, the zombies get in your way. And I killed it pretty quick. The zombies definitely made it faster. But considering you can kill the boss in like 12 seconds anyway. Yeah, like that was 8 seconds. That was like 3 seconds faster than uh, if I didn't have the Reaper Scythe. And that's kind of useless. Like... Saving four seconds, and you see how much of a, of a pain it was to spawn each zombie? Like, it's useless. It might be good for dungeons, but we'll have to wait and see. I will make a follow-up video if it's actually really good for dungeons. But you can't use it on dragons. It's, it's uh, useless on all the other bosses as well. Um, so really, currently, there's no point to have a Reaper Scythe. It's really just a subtle flex. A pretty big flex. I'd much rather spend my money on an overflux that's actually helpful. Also, by the way, I've been working on our island, and currently we have all the tuxes in the game, with all the orbs on their heads, and we also have every single slayer armor, and we're currently working on putting all of the uh, dragon armor over here, so I think that would be pretty cool when that's done. By the way, I bought a new Midas, so I might make a video of maxing it out. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. I'm going to try and upload more, but I have been ill for three weeks straight, and there hasn't been much to upload anyway, so hope you can understand. I might start streaming soon, but my internet's really bad, so I'll have to work out a way to make it not look awful. Anyways, thanks for watching. Goodbye.